What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. If you're like, wait, this isn't Life is Strange Before the Storm, you would be correct. I'm going to be titling this segment, What Happens If I Save Bay Over Bay? So pretty much, if you guys are new to my channel, I just started playing the Life is Strange games. I absolutely love them like in love with them i i really can't put it into words ever since i finished life is strange the first one i i i like i can't stress it enough how much this game has really affected me and you know i've been thinking about it a lot for for some reason i think a lot of it has to do with just how deep it got and with the type of game that it is with it being heavily based on choices matter and all that other good stuff like this game honestly has to be one of the best story games that i have literally ever played and i'm probably going to make a video about that why i think that is for me personally at the end of playing all of them what i plan on doing today is i'm going to be replaying episode 5 polarized my first playthrough i chose to save Arcadia Bay, where this time I'm going to see what happens when I save Chloe instead. Because honestly, I haven't been able to stop thinking about what would happen if I chose that instead. So I figured what better option than to do it, record it, and share it with you guys, share my experience with you guys. Again, this is my first time playing this ending, so this will totally be new for me. This is a complete blind playthrough of me choosing Bay over Bay. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome back if you guys are returning. I really appreciate all the support. Without further ado, let's get into this. Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something! Chloe? I... I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God! Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear! But that nightmare was so real! It was so horrible! So correction, I'm restarting from this point, the tornado. I thought I was gonna restart episode five, but really I just want to experience what happens this when I choose Chloe. Storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. Which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Super Max! Max, this is the only way. Man, we're having to relive I feel this like again. I took this shot a thousand years ago. You, you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to. To fuck that. No, no way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. 
Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. I won't. Me. Not this time. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, I'm gonna make it. You're the only one who can. All right, guys, this is it. This is it. This is why I restarted this. At this point, reliving all of that over again, the whole, like, dialogue scene, her trying to convince me that she is not worth the trouble, and I... Sorry, Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. I love you, Chloe! I can't, Max, it's just... It's time. Not anymore. She rips it up. Instead. Max. I'll always be with you. Forever. Once she put, once she hit me with the whole Joyce thing, and I love Joyce, she almost got me there again. But I can't, like. And also with playing Before the Storm, and like realizing how much I actually love Chloe as a character, and how much I just like sympathize with her and connect with her on a personal level. I kept thinking about this moment, like, all week. You have no idea, guys. And I couldn't wait to see what happens if I- if I would have chosen this route the first time. We will sail our uniform, live together, live together. Wow. This is such a... That's a powerful scene, man. Now there's a whole family of deer. And the other one we only saw the deer.
Honestly, I'm really glad I was just able to relive like the tornado part where I could choose, you know, um, where I could kind of skip all the other stuff that I, I don't regret and I don't, yeah, I don't want to change and I don't regret during my first playthrough. I'm really glad I was just able to restart it from like the sacrificing point, like which one I'm going to sacrifice. Um, cause honestly, I wasn't sure how long this was going to be, so it's really nice that I was just able to make this real short, real sweet. I, I can now get back to playing, um, before the storm, because again, like, I, I love it. I absolutely love it so far. So, my thoughts on this is, I absolutely wish the first time, I mean, I don't regret my first, my first choice with sacrificing her over Arcadia Bay because that's just what I did in the moment um but I'm really glad that I was able to experience both and this one where I, I feel like this was almost the ending that made me happier like the symbolism in the other one had me in more of like an awe state where this one was just like saving my best friend was worth it. In retrospect, I probably, if I, knowing the endings now, I definitely, I would have gone with this ending than the other one. This has to be, without a doubt, like my favorite game, my favorite game series. And I'm not even done yet. I'm not even, I'm not done with Before the Storm and I haven't even played the second one yet. And I can already tell you after playing the first game that this is my favorite story like in a game that I've ever played ever, 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 ever. Let me know what you guys think. I'm glad to have been able to share this experience with you guys. Also just overall really happy that I got to kind of relive this decision and try a different route to see what you know i missed out on the first time and that's just the beauty of these games anyway thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back to playing before the storm thank you guys so much for subscribing and for liking the video have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in before the storm see you later bye